What's up guys? Welcome back to the Home Slice. Real simple video lined up for you guys today. I have a bunch of different stropping compounds that were sent to me a long time ago by my friend Alex. <laughs> Thanks so much for that, Alex. Sorry it's taking me forever to get around to testing them. I was thinking today it would be cool to test some different stropping materials and just take a simple best measurement to start sort of weeding out which ones refine the apex best. Now it's sort of a another question how much you really want to take a lot of Bess off of your dual grid edge. That, that will require some further analysis, but you kind of got to figure out what works before you figure out how much to do of it. So today is one of the how it works days. Um, today I'm testing on denim because it's cheap and I've had good results with it with Mother's Mag, but I haven't tried it much with Diamond. The next episode of this, we'll try out some other things like cardboard and denim and, um, and more denim and leather and wood. And then the third video in this stropping testing series, I have some nicer stropping compounds, which I just purchased. And we'll get into some of those and use what seem to be some of the best substrates, some of the best things to strop with, loaded with those good compounds. I'm going to start out with these two guys. They've both been finished uh, with edge trailing strokes on Spyderco Ultrafine, so they likely have a little bit of burr. Kind of quick, messy sharpening, but this one did 170 grams and this one 169. Took a little more time and did edge trailing, edge leading back and forth with this one and got it down to 124. We'll probably save that one for some of the finer abrasives because I don't want to mess it up. So I will put on screen what the abrasive that this is loaded with is and I'll put the best best results on screen. Oh, I should mention if any of the straps round the edge over or make it worse, because I'm going up pretty high, like this is a 125 micron, so it's huge particles. So if any of them are actually damaging to the steel, then I'll go back and do probably like five strokes on each side with the spider coat ultra fine to restore it to sort of the shape it's in right now before I test the next strap. I think I'm gonna do 10 strokes for each side of the edge, for each strop. That seems like a reasonable amount. It should do something. It shouldn't round the edge over too badly. So, 10 strokes. All right, guys, I just got Final Cut Pro software. So, starting out a new video editor, trying to figure things out, but we're gonna give the voiceover option a shot. We're starting here with a 125 micron Veneve Diamond Paste. I've been wondering, What's the biggest size of particles you can use in denim that are still helpful? Now this one actually took us up to 182, which is about 12 grams higher than the original edge, so it looks like for this particular purpose with this particular steel, 125 microns is too big. I'm gonna reset that here on the Spyderco Ultrafine and then we'll move on to some 10 micron diamond paste with the orange one. So here again we've got a larger abrasive, diamond abrasive, than most people generally use and once again we are going to find that it maybe is not super useful in denim as it started out at about 169 grams and headed up to 184. This edge is going to be required to be reset as well just like the red one because they were actually worse than the original edges set up. Moving on to some seven micron Veneve diamond paste. Just incrementally dropping the size of those abrasives to see if we hit a certain threshold that gets lower than that original 170 number. And here we have it just slightly, 162 best. So we see our first improvement at seven microns. Moving on to five microns. And I should mention right now, I guess that I don't really love this format of the test after performing it, it. It felt kind of noisy and a little bit disorganized. So I'm going to be changing how I do that in the future. But the 5 micron held pretty steady at about 172 grams. 
and generally in these size of abrasives so far, we haven't seen much change. This test was performed with the last of a tube of cheap one micron diamond paste. I bought this little syringe off of Amazon, but it gets a respectable reading, the best so far, at 149 grams. Now we're on to a 0.5 micron DMT diamond spray, and now we're getting into some real higher quality abrasives. I've had good experience with this diamond spray, and you'll see that the best number has actually dropped down to 150, which is good. It's about the same as the one micron diamond paste. I've taken the black knife, which started at 124 grams on the best machine, and I'm gonna see what happens when we hit that on some 0.5 micron diamond. And as you can see, it brought the number up into the 150s. This is kind of one of my main observations, even though the data is a little bit noisy. I noticed that there's sort of a ceiling in these tests where if you're using denim and I've got a little non-slip pad under it, it compresses enough that it seems to leave a little bit of a foil burr or round the edge over because I'm having a hard time breaking that 150 gram mark. I've now stropped all the knives on some kangaroo sorry that last one was off frame and the black knife is back down to 131 grams which is interesting the orange knife actually came in at 155 so here's the final results both the red knife and the orange knife which started at a higher number these diamond abrasives kind of came down to this this floor at about 150 grams where they struggled to get past that. The black knife came off the Spyderco Ultrafine Ceramic at 124 grams. It was then partially ruined <laughs> by the 0.5 micron diamond spray, but brought back to life by the kangaroo strop. So very interesting results. I think overall I would have to say that I don't highly recommend doing a stropping on a denim substrate with diamond abrasive it seems not to be the most productive and you seem to sort of hit some limitations of how low you can get the best number but we're going to take this data and introduce some different substrates and abrasives and see if we can break that 100 mark anyway peace out from the home slice you guys take care